This morning I want to talk about falling in love with the process. And what do I mean by that? Well, you know the way most people pursue goals is they focus on the end game. You know, they focus on ultimately how much income they want to earn, they focus on the car, they focus on the house, they focus on the trip, they focus if you're a network marketer on the rank, or if, you know, if you're a realtor, you focus on your ranking at the end of the year, how many homes you're going to sell. And, you know, having vision is, you know, an important part of that is to, vi to vision the end game, like, what will it look like when we're there? And to create a vision of we are already there. Another really secret weapon of creating vision is to create a vision around the process. Like what is the process that will get you there? What can you do every day in every way that will get you ultimately to your goal? So, for example, if your goal is to walk across the United States, you can certainly envision, hey, I've done it, you know, I've walked all these beaches, I've, you know, walked state to state to state, over the mountains, through the deserts, through the cities, and I'm, you know, there's a ticker tape for parade for me in New York City as I'm walking down Madison Avenue, and, you know, I've done it, I've walked across the United States. You can envision that, and that's valuable, of course, to have that end game in mind, but here's something that's even more valuable than the end game, and that's to envision walking every day. You know, what if your vision was that who I am and what I do and what I love doing is just walking, you know, 10 to 20 miles every day? You know, some days might be 10 based on the terrain or the temperature or the distractions, but some days might be 20. And all I do every day is walk. That's who I am. That's what I do. And for me, it's not about the ticker tape parade in New York City, although that's okay too. It's just that I love to walk. And so, you know, if you're a realtor, what might be the process? Well, I don't know. The question to ask yourself is, what is, this, what is the one thing that as a realtor, if you did it every day without fail, maybe it takes you 10 minutes, maybe it takes you an hour, that if you did it every day without fail, would ultimately lead to listings and sales? You know, maybe that's reaching out and contacting new prospective people who might want to buy or sell their home. You know, if you're a network marketer, it's pretty simple. It's reaching out and asking people to, if they just take a look at your opportunity, and maybe you have a tool to, to show them. Maybe you have a video, or maybe you have a book, or maybe you have something. <clears throat> but that's the process that I'm in love with. You know, I'm, I also have, you know, I have a big vision about transformation and learning and becoming a totally different person five years from now than I am today, but I don't spend a lot of time reading the vision about, you know, five years from now, I'm this, you know, amazing person. I think about that, and I have a vision about, you know, being a much more powerful, prominent person five years from now, but what I pay most of the attention to is reading every day. You know, every day I spend, you know, probably at least 30 minutes reading the thoughts of people that I admire, people that inspire me. And, you know, I generally do that through blogs and podcasts as opposed to books. But, you know, I just, I love that process. I love the process of being curious and learning and taking on other people's perspectives. And, you know, I, I love the process of reading threads where people are arguing about different points of view. You know, it could be gun control, it could be politics, it could be, you know, um, you know, the economy, the stock market, you know, what, it, what to do about homeless people. I love reading other people's points of view. I love reading the the full spectrum of, you know, people way over here on the left and people way over here on the right. And, you know, it just gives me a new breadth of perspective on what's going on. You know, as a network marketer, you know, that one thing, 
A lot of you are network marketers. I'm a network marketer. What's the one thing that if you did it every day, if you loved doing it every day, I mean, if you just got up and it's the first thing you thought about doing every day, what would that lead to? And what is that one thing? Well, for most of us, it's, it's just inviting people to take a look. And you know, if you invited just one person to take a look every day, whether it's one person to look at listing their home or you know, one person to, you know, look at buying your cars if you're a car salesman, uh, one person to look at your network marketing business. If you just contacted one person a day, that automatically puts you in the top 1% of your profession. Not necessarily in income today, but in what people need to do to get to the top 1% of the income because 99% of the people in the game aren't doing it. 99% of the people that day or making an excuse about why they don't have time, why nobody's interested, why this, you know, shiny object they're looking at is more important than that. Love with the process itself. So write that vision out. Write the vision out of this is what I'm doing every day and this is why I love it. You know, for, for me, I have like, I don't have it written out, but it's deeply ingrained in me the, the idea of connecting with people. You know, when I meet somebody new, I, I just, I kind of salivate with curiosity about who are they and where do they live and what do they do for a living and, you know, why are they here wherever we might be and, you know, sometimes they come to Lanai where we live and, you know, there's always a story about how they got there and why they're there and what, where they come from and, and I love that story. And for me, it's not about recruiting them. Like the vision I have is not recruiting them. The vision I have is get to know them, like satisfy my curiosity. Like, you know, what do they do for a living and what's with their family and why are they here and what are they doing while they're here and what do they enjoy most and, you know, just all of that. And so what I challenge you to do is create a vision about what's the one thing. Um, you know, maybe, maybe your thing is fitness, you know, maybe that's the most important thing to you. <laughs> maybe it should be the most important thing to me. <clears throat> but you know, if, if fitness was, then what there is to do is not fall in love with the body of our dreams, but fall in love with, you know, eating fresh and clean every day, fall in love with, you know, 45 minutes of, you know, activity every day and, that's the process to fitness and wellness. The process to wealth is falling in love with paying attention to your money, paying attention to how you earn it, how you spend it, how you put it to work for you, not visioning being a multi-multi-millionaire. I mean, that's okay. That's, that's valuable. But the secret weapon of vision is to create a powerful vision of that process, that one thing. And uh, a great book, The One Thing. Read that book uh, from the founder of Kel Keller Williams Real Estate. I can't think of his name right at the moment, but somebody will post it here. Read The One Thing. Figure out what the one thing is that will get you to where you want to go. And then create a vision around you loving that process. Like you salivate for it. Like when you get up in the morning, that's the most important thing you're looking to do is engage with that process. Not because of the ticker tape parade, but because you just love the process. Walk every day. Guess where you end up three or four months from now? New York City, baby. Madison Avenue. Have a fantastic day. Over and out.